Hello, I'm uh, Desmond Fitzpatrick. I'm an emergency medicine resident at Shands University of Florida. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about optic ultrasound. A few uh, indications for optic ultrasound are to evaluate for retinal detachment. Uh, you can evaluate for some optic foreign bodies. You can evaluate the optic nerve sheath diameter. The probe you're going to use is you're going to use a, the linear probe seen here. There are other probes um, specialized for the, the optic nerve, but most uh, ERs and critical care settings are going to be using the linear probe. You, there's two ways to prep the patient. Um, you can use a tegaderm and apply this prior to uh, um, applying jelly, um, but you can also use sterile jelly and apply it directly to the eye. Um, you can use a fair amount of jelly to get a, a good image. You're going to have the indicator to the patient's right to first evaluate the and you're just going to lightly press it on the patient. The anterior, uh, most of the globe is going to be the cornea. You're going to have an anterior chamber, which is hypoechoic. You're going to have the middle iris, and the posterior hypoechoic structure is your lens. So that's actually your lens. Um, you're also going to have your retina, which is going to be this gray uh, uh, line down there. Um, and you're going to start to see your optic nerve um, as this grayish hyperchoric structure as well. And you're just going to scan, fan up and down, looking at the patient's full eye. If you were to see retinal detachment, you'd see a thin line coming into view. So uh, when you get in, uh, when you have the optic nerve um, in view, as you see on the ultrasound here, is this grayish hyperchoric structure. Um, you can freeze the image, and this will allow you to take measurements. So you'll go up, go ahead, and bring up your calipers, and you'll want to measure down three millimeters, because that's going to be the area that you want to, to measure the width of the optic nerve sheet. So you'll see 0.3 centimeters, or three millimeters. You'll want to set that, and then you want to measure from the inside to the inside of the structure. So as you see here, we measure from where you start to see it become hypochoic all the way across to where you see the hypochoic end. Um, as, as you see here, it's zero point. There's another uh, way to evaluate the eye. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and have the indicator towards the patient's top of the head. And you'll want to do the same thing. So you'll try to get your structures in view. And you'll just want to fan to the patient's left and the right. This also helps you evaluate it in another plane to look for any type of retinal detachment or any other abnormalities. There's also a technique called dynamic optic um, ultrasound. And you actually hold the ultrasound in place and have the patient look left and right. Could you look left and right? And this can help you look for more subtle abnormalities. As you see, he's looking left and right, and I'm holding the ultrasound in place.